The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. All right, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Welcome to the offices of Duke and Duke. Let's take a look at this DAX, folks. It's a beautiful expanding triangle, as you can see. We posted this just about every day this week. Uh, it's now completed. It looks like it's uh, ready to uh, finally roll over, but we don't know for sure. But you know what? Nobody else does either, so it's all about risk control. That's what it looks like. It doesn't always mean it's going to be that way. Let's take a look at the FTSE, given the fact that we've got new things going on in Brexit. I guess it's not going to be now till October 31st. That's only fitting to come in at Halloween. Since it didn't work on April 1st, I don't know what's going on over there, but nobody else cares, so why should I? Take a look at this FTSE chart, folks. If you like ABCD, you're going to love this one. Look back on March the 28th, we made a low at 70,000, 70,000, 7,040. Then we made a high on March the 21st at 7,370. Then we made a 61% retracement at 7,155. So here's your homework for today. B plus C minus A equals D. So you add point B and point C. Get that total, and then you subtract point A down there at the bottom, which is 7040. So B plus C minus A equals D. And you'll see up there D at 7480. That was the exact high today. And now we're trading about, uh, we've already broken almost 100, handle, or 100 points um, from that high, so that, that could be an ABCD pattern. I don't know. It is, at least it started in the right direction. We'll have to take a look. Uh, here's a question that someone had this morning was about the uh, gold market. I want to bring that up here so you'll be able to see it here. Here's where we were yesterday. This is a video that I, whoa, shut the front door and raise the rent. A little bad problem there. Just a second here. The old uh, chubby little fingers on the old mouse get confused once in a while. Here's the gold yesterday, folks. This is over the last 10 days. Um, if you'll see the 78% level up there at 13, uh, 1470, uh, and then you'll see where we are today. We've already down to 1298. This is a major, major move in gold. That was nothing more than a four-day rally with a three-drive pattern coming together at that level, and uh, we'll see if that's going to continue down. We're trading below 1300 now. But folks, look at all the Fibonacci numbers on this chart, folks. <laughs> they don't work all the time, but boy, they work some of the time. So gold is a great one to trade, as is the euro, and that is crude oil. Those are the ones. If God came down and she said, you can only pick one thing to trade, I would pick the euro. And then she would be really kind to me. She says, oh, you get to pick one other. I would have to pick gold. And then as, I, as I'm leaving the Golden Gates to head back down, she would say, okay, you get to pick one more, and I would pick crude oil. So those are the three that I would pick. The crude oil, because it's got volatility out the wazoo, man, it's, that thing really jumps around. The only thing that jumps around more than the crude oil on, when it usually is trading is natural gas. That's really uh, a really, really big one uh, to trade. So keep an eye on those. There's, they're very, very interesting because uh, they uh, – they give you lots of volatility and a lot of bangs for the buck. I mean, with gold, uh, the margin's around six thousand dollars, but you're trading a contract contract that's worth one hundred and thirty thousand, folks. That's that's a uh, that's serious bucks. So you get a lot of bangs for the bucks, and then in crude oil, that's even that's even better. That's sixty thousand. And the the, mar, uh, the margin on that I think is 2,200. So I mean that's even better than gold. So that's that's a really good one. So we'll watch those as we go through here. Lots of lots of questions this morning, uh, folks. I wanted to I wanted to talk to you about the lift, okay? Because you know we have these companies that are out here that uh, they don't make any money. But uh, like this 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 company doesn't own any car. Just like Uber, it doesn't own any cars. 
uh, has no, and yet it's one of the largest transportation uh, com companies in the world, I was told. And the same thing with this bed and breakfast and stuff. B&B, uh, I don't know. But anyway, you'll notice here's that ABCD pattern that we're looking at. Coming in at around 52, we're trading around 60. So that doesn't give a lot of uh, uh, you know, what I call promise for the Uber, but you know we'll have to wait and see. Folks, here, here's my two cents worth on uh, these uh, initial public offerings. If you'll remember about uh, seven years ago, there was a one that came out of Harvard called Facebook. Let's take a look what Facebook did. Let's just get up here and take a quick look. Facebook opened at $45, okay, and you can see it went from 45 to 25. It dropped pretty much in half. Then it rallied up to a 382 retracement and then came down. It didn't give its first buy signal. You see the Gartley with that big triangle that's there. There's the first Gartley right at the 78% level. Stopped right there, and that was at uh, $19. Then it had a rally back to that old resistance at 30, at the 380, uh, 382 level, of course. That was nothing more than a 50% retracement of the whole move. Then it came down, and you'll notice it made a Gartley sell signal up there at 29, and it went down to the 61% retracement at uh, 29 to 23. And that's where it made a major bottom there, because that was the 61% retracement of the low that we made on September the 4th. And from there, it went to over $200 a share, I believe. Yeah, yeah, way over $200 a share. Just went straight up from that level. So if you're going to do an IPO, and, and folks, I when we have a big one like what we have with Google. When Google came out in August of 2004, uh, it opened at 102, I think it was 125, sold off all day. Um, what was, no, it, yeah, when it opened at 70, went to 120, backed off to a 78% retracement uh, all during the day with about uh, two hours to go. And uh, I, had a, uh, I had a main squeeze at that time and she wanted to buy Google at the opening and now she had saved about 40 bucks. And I said, if you wanna buy it, you buy it now. And so she bought it and we had to leave for the airport to go to one of the, uh, it was a money show over there. And so I was over there speaking. And when we got off the, uh, the airport, we didn't have all this fancy stuff with the phones and stuff, but on the tube up there, it was showing that, uh, you know, Google had rallied to 130. So she made uh, she made like 60 bucks a share. She bought 100, 100 shares, so she had made a lot of money, and she wanted to sell it, but uh, the, the, the market had closed. It closed about uh, 20 minutes late, and uh, so she was a little upset until it gapped up $60 on Sunday, or Monday. Anyway, just if you're going to do an IPO, wait till you find a pattern, you know. Come on, they're there all the time. It doesn't make any difference if you just use, uh, you know, buying these things on the opening and stuff. That's a, oh dear, you know, I don't know how to say it and without uh, using some type of a street smart, but we'll have to see anyway. Anyway, that's what that's my two cents worth. If you got a pattern, you got a little bit of an edge that you can see, it, and all these are the same. You can look at all of them. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, you just go back and look at Groupon, all of them. They all got the same type of stuff. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, it's storybook time. Uh, I'll have to tell you why. Uh, one of the reasons that I get frustrated in this business is the computers. And I've had a major problem with the computers here uh, in uh, Cowboy Town the last few uh, six or seven days. Uh, one of the big computers cost a little over $6,000 about seven years ago, uh, just basically burned up. So I had to send it to the graveyard and get it replaced and stuff. And so uh, yesterday, I called uh, my sister and was moaning to her about it, and she was laughing at me. And she said, do you remember when we were little what mom used to do whenever we complained? And I said, yes. And folks, there's a place in uh, Terre Haute, Indiana, on the west side of the Wabash River called Toad Hop. It's also, the real name of it is Taylorville. It's, uh, it's a place for the homeless, folks. I mean, uh, you just, you would not believe. And this, folks, I'm going back 60 years. Uh, that's where they lived. They didn't live on the streets. They were not allowed to live on the streets and in the parks. They had their own little place there. And my sister told me that it still exists. And so mother would, my aunt and my mom would take my sister and I, well, my sister was always good, but she, you know, take me through and say, this is what you think you're poor now. Look what these folks have. And that always uh, brightened me up. So whenever I have a day like that, I go down to the, uh, uh, gospel mission, and I realize how how lucky I I really am. And then my sister was joking about uh, in August of uh, 1980, um, the girls were back there. Uh, the whole family went back, with the exception of me, because I had to work. But Twentyman was playing um, in a blackjack tournament in uh, Las Vegas, and so I went over with him uh, to play poker. We went over on a Thursday night, and he was playing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and. Uh, on Friday morning, I went down to uh, to play Keno, and my grandmother used to teach me numbers uh, by Keno. There's uh, 80 numbers on the board, and you, you had to pick uh, 8 or 10 or whatever, and if you pick 8 out of 8, uh, it was a you know a lot of money. So if you bet a dollar and hit all 8 numbers, you, you made like, uh, you know, made it was, I think, it paid off $50,000. If you hit 7 out of 8, it paid like 1750 So I'm playing, and... Uh, Son of a gun, I look up and I've hit seven numbers and I was really excited. I ran up to the counter and I said, I've hit seven numbers, I've hit seven numbers. And the, the, the clerk looked at me and he said, no, sir, you didn't hit seven. 
you hit eight numbers. And my the last number that came up uh, was, was my birthday number, 28. I I didn't realize the balls had still not dropped, and I got I got fifty thousand dollars for that. And 20, 20 didn't come down till till I called him. He, he usually didn't get up till 8:30. And uh, anyway, it was uh, pretty. It's a long story. I don't want to go into it anymore. But believe it or not, uh, 20 years later, in 2000. I hit a uh, I hit an eight spot again, but now they only paid twenty five thousand dollars. So I hit two eight spots in my life. One paid fifty, the other paid twenty five. So uh, I've been relatively lucky at that. So anyway, when you're feeling low and down, go look at somebody that does, has a whole lot less than you, folks, because there's a lot of people out there that way. And uh, you know, I know we still complain. You know, everybody doesn't like to hear anybody complain, but that's where it goes. Okay, we'll get back to the charts here a little bit to take a look at it. A lot of talk about Apple, folks. We, we've talked about Apple before. I want to bring it up here so we can uh, take a look at it right now. We did get up to that 61% uh, retracement. We'll be able to see uh, a little above 200, actually. I think we're trading just a tad below that right now or right near it. So that should mean something, but whether it does or not, you know, I'm not sure. I do have some news on programming. Uh, Tom O'Brien, I will be taking over for the Tom O'Brien show several days next week while Tom is gone. So if you wanted to listen in, I think it's from 3 to 5 on, uh, I don't know which days I'm going to do it yet. Not every day, but I think I'm going to do three of the days. So we'll see if uh, if that's going to, uh, if that's going to uh, you know, be the... Uh, uh, during that time, I'll be talking about stocks mostly, answering a few questions. I mean, uh, I mean, just hold on just a minute. Al's telling me that the call board, uh, people calling in, is just it just swamped right now, so folks. So don't call in right now because there's just too many calls coming in uh, asking questions. What is that, Al? You say there's 50 people waiting? Okay, Al, we'll do it by lottery after the break. We'll we'll get a lottery number going so those that call in will be able to get. Uh, get the calls in. Okay. Oh my goodness. It's up to 60 call waitings. Oh my goodness. Well, let's just move on here. Hold the phone. Maybe somebody will call in one of these days. God bless you, Mr. Z. God bless you, Marshall. I know you guys do call in and that's it. And I, you do get your $20 whenever you call in. That's for sure. Folks, let's take another look at one of the FANG stocks here. This is the Goog. Uh, there was another one. Uh, hold on one second here. Uh, it's been stronger than some of the others. Uh, it's got above the 78% level, still trading up near that level. That those companies, folks, Facebook and Google, they know so much about you that uh, it's it's absolutely pretty scary. I mean, it's uh, and Amazon. Oh my gosh, Amazon so knows so much about you. Yesterday, I, I googled, I googled what's the best uh, razor in the world. I because I, I don't like to shave. Uh, well, I do I shave, but I don't like to. And so I like to get the very best I can for a razor. And I bought some of these ones from, uh, what is it, uh, Shave Club and Harry's and stuff, and they're just nothing. They're not really very much. And so I tried another one, and uh, I didn't think Harry's was that good, actually. The, the, uh, the lather was pretty good, but the razor was not nearly as good. Anyway, uh, they knew exactly, I mean, they had history, of, which they should have because I buy stuff through, from them. But it's amazing everything that they know about you. It's just really amazing. But from what John Jameson tells me, that's nothing compared to what Apple knows about you. So we'll see. Apple knows what you are, what you had for breakfast, and what you're thinking about having for lunch. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Z, you're the best. I, I have to be careful. Oh, my goodness. Al said the calls are up to 72. He said it's almost an all-time record. Shut the front door. You're right. I, I believe uh, that thing about uh, 1984 is uh, probably coming to fruition if we haven't made it already yesterday. One thing I did enjoy yesterday, folks, uh, was the fact that I was watching a little bit of the uh, the uh, congressional thing with the uh, finance committee, and when Steve Mnuchin was on, and she was being grilled by uh, 
Maxine Waters. <laughs> Maxine Waters didn't didn't evidently know that uh, Steve Mnuchin is a multi 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 millionaire because uh, she was worried about him losing his job at the at the Treasury. Anyway, we'll see uh, what's happened. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. You know, one of the reasons these guys take these cabinet jobs is they get a really good break on taxes. I think Hank Paulson, when he took over as Secretary Treasurer, he had like uh, four hundred seventy thousand, four hundred seventy million dollars, or something like that, and he got like a hundred twenty million dollar tax break for being a, uh, you know, the Secretary of the Treasurer under uh, Obama. So, who knows? We'll see what happens. That's all. That's not just Obama. That was. That's all of those guys get that break. That's how they get these people to come in, and. Uh, the uh, make it yes steve mnuchin does a lot of movies he's done some really really uh profitable movies if you if you google it you'll see that he does a a pretty good job here folks the silver is still acting very very poorly let me get this up here get talking about the markets here a little bit again uh had, had a yes plan keep it gone Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, hats off to our good friend, Mr. Z, in the room today. He posted in the Tiger Den that the gold was going to be down $17 an ounce from the high. And by golly, spot on, there it was, down $16. 
and 90 cents. Well, you missed it by 10 cents, Mr. Z. Try to polish up your entries from now on, but spot on, buddy. That's really a good one. That's the half harmonic number in gold, and gold follows those numbers very, very nicely. That means we could be looking uh, at a pretty significant bottom here uh, in the gold, and any move below uh, 1297 would certainly uh, negate that, but we'll watch one thing at a time. There is a, a lot of things going on, folks, uh, uh, today as far as astrological things that were pointed out to us the last time Norm Winsky was on. So pay attention. Yesterday and today were really big days, so uh, a lot of things could happen. We've had a, a pretty big uh, drop in crude oil. We actually dropped a dollar ten a barrel from the high, if you can believe that, and now we're midst, we're in the midst of a rally. But uh, watch the time frame of uh, 10:45 today for you folks that like to follow the the artificial intelligence stuff that I look at. I'll bring this up here just for because we've got we've made some really huge improvements here. Uh, the last few days. Uh, eh, better not do that. Yeah, yeah, might as well. Hold on one second. Just remember, this is all related to uh, time. It has nothing to do with price. You'll be able to see it looks like we should top somewhere around 11 o'clock, and then for two hours, you're going to have a pretty big move. The last, uh, the last hour of the day is the least predictable for this. That, so the last part of the day, you certainly don't want to uh, uh, consider it because it's basically, you know, for, for day trading and for timing of the trades, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Okay, let's uh, move on to the next one. I want to get some more of these. Uh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Let's get one more here. I want to cover one more of these uh, these uh, uh, things. This is the Netflix. This has been actually behind the market a little bit. Give me one second here. And uh, soybean meal, you betcha, Mr. Z. This is what we call uh, gift day. Anything you would like to see on the charts, all you have to do is to call in to Al, and he will give you. And the first caller in, of course, was Mr. Z. He gets to see uh, the soybean meal, so we'll get it up here for him. We'll scroll down the old chart list till we get to the Zs for uh, soybean meal. And there we're going to do the Christmas uh Let's just do nearby, and we'll see where we are here. I'm very bullish the meal. Uh, of course, I'm very bullish the beans, and I'm very bullish wheat. I'm bullish all that stuff. Hold on one second here. Here's where we are. You can see, oh, Mr. Z, this is a really interesting one because we've got this uh, really nice triangle built here. You can see the uh, the highs from the 25th, the lows from the uh, or the, the highs from the, the 20th. The lows in the 25th, that's a 78% retracement, just absolutely spot on. Rallies up to the 61% retracement. Now, the $64 question is, do we move down to 305 one more time, or do we break out to the upside? We don't know the answer to that, but if we got the meal back down to that 305 level, uh, I think it's a buy there with about a $2 stop. So you can, uh, that's a $30,000 contract. You can trade it for 300 bucks without any trouble at all. So it looks like it could be a, a very, very interesting one. But the one that, that I like the most uh, of all the grains uh, is, the, uh, is the wheat market. I really like the wheat. I think it's got a good chance. Keep a really close eye on that July wheat because I think it's got a, a really good chance to, uh, to rock and roll today. And the actual time for that, would be to watch it at around 11 o'clock in the morning. That's the one that I would be uh, watching uh, 11 o'clock this morning, and that's the Eastern time, of course, and uh, so that's something that you might want to uh, take a look at. Uh, let's move on here to the last one that I wanted to cover here. No, I think I did the last one. Yeah, I'm not going to do any more of those. Now, let me see any other questions coming in, Al. No. Folks, you're gonna, I'm going to have to give you a little bit of a refresher course in etiquette. You know, I when I do these shows to try to help out here at TFNN, uh, it's not as easy as you might think. It takes me about an hour every day to prepare for the show to try to keep it new and interesting. On days like today, where I was up in the middle of the night working on this blankety-blank-blank computer with uh, Skinny Kenny, I, uh, I get a little bit tired and frustrated, so I don't have as much to talk about today, so I need as much help as possible. So this is when you want to make up stories about call in and say, gee, whatever happened on uh, uh, the 3rd of March in 1926? So, see, thanks, Mr. Bill, but it's not as easy as you might think, especially 
uh, on days like that. Let's just switch over to the British pound here. Hey, Roy's calling in. Let me get the checkbook out. Roy from Fort Worth. What can I do for you, my friend? Yes, sir, Larry. Good morning. Uh, I was wondering uh, what your opinion on uh, Bitcoin, since it's been dormant for so long, and now it's uh, so, showing somewhat of a surge here. Oh, yeah. Uh, We're a little, uh, little pullback now. Yep, we've uh, we've actually went up to I think we got up to 5,500. Let me post this for you. Uh, you know, we had a really strong buy down there. Looking at the Gartley pattern there, when it was at 3,400, you can see it marked there uh, with the triangle there. If you're if you're on to Tiger TV, remember, uh, Roy, this market came down from 19,000 to 3,100, and that was the that's actually the fourth time since 2010 that the market has corrected more than 80 percent. That's the fourth time. So if we get this above 6,000, and I would I would be watching for the first correction here. If we get this above 6,000, you know we could have something really significant. But I don't think it's about cryptocurrencies. I believe it's about blockchain technology. But but Roy, I know so little about this that I would be the last one. You know I, I can see the charts that I understand. But as far as what they mean and stuff, it's so far over my head that. Uh, I don't even want to think about it so far above my head pay grade. Did you ever get involved with it at all? Uh, yeah, a little bit uh, last year, and then I got out before the bus, and now uh, we're just waiting here. I'm getting in there with the GBTC. Got in okay. at uh, five, and so uh, it's been doing pretty good this past week. Okay, just make sure that uh, you know you keep a stop in on these because these uh, ones that are traded on these Bitcoin exchanges – I think there's 81 different Bitcoin exchanges and 71 of them CNBC reported as being bogus. So be really careful with that stuff. It's uh, it's the wild, wild west, as you would know about Fort Worth. <laughs> right on. Well, yeah. well, thanks, Larry. Appreciate it. Have hey, a good Hey, thanks weekend. for calling in. And it's one of my favorite cities down there. I love Fort Worth. All right. Good deal. Okay. Put you on you a bet. horse when you get here. Oh, listen! I'm an expert rider. I, I go to the I go to the track every day and, and pick the jockey that looks like me. And of course, if I pick three jockeys, I'll have one me. So, <laughs> anyway, hey, thanks for calling in, Roy. I really appreciate it. All right. All right, talk okay. To you, later, later, bye. you bet. Yeah. I just had a funny thought. Uh, we've got the first Saturday in May coming up here in a few weeks, which is the uh, running of the Kentucky Derby. And I'm still in contact with the coin dealers that I did business with in Los Angeles all those years. And they always call me to ask for uh, the has, you know, to, to talk about the horses because I know I know about as much horses about horses as I do the markets. But uh, I've had a couple of winners through the years. But uh, it's uh, it's really fun to to remember this stuff. Anyway, that's. Uh, the, the real good part of the memories. There's no question about that. Okay, let's move on to the Japanese yen, folks. We have a question here because uh, we're getting up here. Uh, we'll take a little break and then we'll, we'll answer this next question. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. What should you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the 
dollar, bonds, South African rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The fund Funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, we have Mr. Z, John from Philadelphia calling in today. John, how are you doing? Boy, oh boy, Larry. Your need of razors, computers, <laughs> yeah, some psychological well, relief. Holy cow! Let's go swimming can... over in the Wabash. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Over there by Taylorville. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever have you ever seen Taylorville, John? Uh, did you ever know it was there? Well, Larry, uh, there's a great many cities in this country. Yeah, that have, that Taylorville, have their so. own Taylorville. So I've seen yeah. a great many. Yes. Yeah. What can I do for you, my friend? Uh, question on gold, please. I wanted to ask if you'd pull up that chart, the uh, shorter-term chart. Very specific question. First, by way of background, um, I, I am guessing, it's merely a guess, that the low mar uh, March 7th and then last week, April 4th, I'm guessing that is a double low bottom. Uh, it to be followed by higher price. Okay. How much higher, of course, is unknown. What's obviously clear is there's just massive weekly chart resistance, you know, 1350 to 1375. So nothing to get really excited about until you get over that. And anyway, but short term, uh, what is it that you'd need to see that would tell you, hey, that 1285 low back on the uh, the 4th of April, that is the that is the bottom, and a more significant rally phase is already underway. If you could give those uh, your your read uh, of what uh, uh, what you'd need to see to give you that answer, I'd appreciate that. John, I would like to, but I'm prevented because of the fact that if I told you, I'd have to have you whacked. I, I don't really, I don't really have any, uh, I don't really have any, you know, uh, anything new to say. All I know is that if we clear 1317 on a print, this thing's going to go a lot higher because we stopped exactly at the 78% level yesterday at 131470. That was to the tick. And we backed off $17, as you pointed out, which is one half the harmonic number uh, in gold, spot on. It was right at a 61% retracement from the low on April the 5th. So that's really strong support. What I'm watching this morning is the 3A2, which is at 1305. If we don't clear 1305 here in the next uh, three or four hours, you know, all day today, then this market's going to be going lower in the real easy buy. If we would ever get it, it would be down around that 1260 to 1255 level. But boy, when it gets there, uh, the people are going to be scared to death because you know it's going to be down over $100 from the high, and yet that's going to be the first major A, B, C, D that we've had in over a year. And those are the ones that Gartley loved. So uh, that's that's what's on my uh, 
on my menu, 1266 is what I'm looking at in, uh, in June gold. If we can get there in the next two or three weeks, which would be ideal, uh, that, would, uh, that would be a really good entry for gold. Thanks very much for that uh, elaboration. Um, as I listened to you mention the 1305-382 level just on the way back up, I, uh, I combine that with the observation you've made many, many times in the past that I found very helpful, namely um, be respectful of going against markets that have made wide price spread. And just, just on the hourly chart, today is one of those uh, 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 phenomena where we do have uh, wide price bed spread excuse me, going, going lower. So, um, so, uh, so thank you for all that. And um, I'll keep my eye on that 1317, and um, we'll see 13, if that happens 13, or uh, if we get your 12... Uh, you're 1255, 1260. Yeah. So, um, so thanks for doing the show. Uh, I, I will speak for all of us uh, listening. Uh, we're uh, forever grateful for you putting putting forth the effort to get prepared to do this. Uh, it's very helpful. Well, John, I hear the sound of one hound clapping in the background. So thank you very much, and I'll get that twenty dollar check <laughs> right. in the mail to you as soon as possible. Very good. We'll see. Hey, hey, I look forward to seeing you soon, buddy. Take it easy. Okay, let's move on to the next one here. Uh, we talked about that Japanese yen. Folks, that Japanese yen, if it can get above 112, uh, it's got really strong legs. It hasn't done it yet, but if it can get there, and if it can get there, then it's got a pretty good chance of uh, something really, really big happening. So uh, keep an eye on it. It looks very, very interesting for sure. Okay, now the next one we want to cover here. If you'll give me one second, I want to get into the currencies. This is the British pound. I'm still holding out. I want to get this up here to let you see it with all this Brexit stuff. Thank you, Pedro. I appreciate it. If you, uh, Instead of saying that you appreciate it, give me some uh, platinum. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm not on the platinum train, Mike, but I will cover platinum uh, next. Hold on one second here. Uh, here's the uh, British pound. I'm still holding out for a maybe move down to around 129. That would be a beautiful Gartley pattern down there. Be a 78% retracement of the low on February the 15th, and it would be a 382 retracement of the low from way back on January 31st when the uh, Japanese banks did their uh, annual uh, bank robbery. All right, let's take a quick look here at the platinum. We'll just get it up here. Uh, so we can take a look at it. I wanted to show you what's happening so far. And, oh, it's on the other side of the hill. Hold on a second here. Where is the platinum? There we go. Okay, let's just get this up here. And this is a real interesting one, Mike, because I want to bring to your attention two different things. Here's platinum where we were uh, as we came in on Sunday, and here we are on Thursday. Remember I talked to you about the importance of that uh, uh, 888 level in platinum. We got down to 890. And what I'm going to do now, Mike, if you'll bear with me since we've got the time, I'm going to pull up the platinum chart so that I can show you what happened yesterday because it was a really, really good entry point uh, in the uh, in the platinum if you were following it. And uh, unfortunately, I was having computer problems, so I, I never really got to it. But give me a second here, and I'll show you where we are. There's where we are. Just one second here. This was yesterday, of course. Let me draw this little Gartley in, and you'll see it uh, really clearly. There we go. Okay, let me bring this up to you so you can see this uh, nice little pattern that we had here uh, yesterday uh, in the platinum. You'll notice that we made that really nice Gartley down there. at uh, at This was at right around the uh, 894 level. You notice the ABC structure on this came in at 888, but the low was actually 890, and then it rallied for a couple hours during the day, and it made that beautiful Gartley pattern there at 894, and then away it went. It went all the way up and hit the exact 78% level. Uh, hold on one second here. The exact 78% level, and then it's getting ready to possibly b break out to the upside, folks. We're trading at 914 now. It looks actually... It looks actually pretty good, so we'll take a look at it. Ah, oh, only got half a chart. Aha! Did you get the full chart yet? Uh, 
Oh, I don't, Mike. You ought to you ought to hold off on that one thousand in platinum. It's got to get through nine. It's got to get through nine thirty before it gets to a thousand, Mike. <laughs> anyway, we'll take a little break. Whoa, coming to the end of the road here. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. Uh, let's keep an eye on these markets. Uh, we're due for a pretty serious correction in stocks. In my opinion, uh, the pattern that we looked at, the Dow Jones is by far the weakest of the of the three major indices we look at. So uh, keep an eye on that one. Uh, certainly being affected by uh, Boeing. Uh, you know, here they're having almost have to take this plane out of service, which is uh, uh, very unusual because those boys usually do a pretty good job with the safety, but we'll have to wait and see uh, what's going on. Regarding the platinum, folks, we've had a really strong rally here uh, since we made that low down around 890. The perfect ABCD on that was at 888. It missed it by two bucks, and then, of course, uh, if we get uh, much above the 78% level, which is up here at around 13.15, let's try it again, Larry, 9.15, uh, then uh, you could easily uh, start a, uh, a move uh, going higher. And remember, the, the platinum in, in has been running uh, counter to both gold and silver, Sil silver being the weak sister of the group, so 
If you're going to buy a precious metal, you do platinum, then gold, then silver. If you don't like trading platinum, then you do the gold. And if you don't like gold, I wouldn't touch silver because something's wrong. It just doesn't want to go up yet. Uh, it'll tell us when it's ready, but right now it certainly doesn't look like it has legs, so I would stand aside. So pay attention to that. Watch the Treasury bonds, folks. We've made a major top in those bonds at 150.20. We've not been able to rally very much at all. That's a negative sign. And maybe it'll rally today, but it's not bouncing. And when it doesn't bounce very much, that's important. That's why this bounce in the gold, it's neat. it needs to get above 1305, excuse me, <laughs> 1305 uh, quickly. Otherwise, it's uh, going to show more weakness. You know, we'll see if it's going to continue. We're trading about 13, uh, 1302 right now. We've been as high as 1303. So sort of pay attention. One other thing, live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless and be sure you do something for people that have a lot less than you.